So, what makes 2011 WWE super underrated? I mix it is the greatest, is the greatest year of the, the PGL, to be honest. But 2008, I don't catch you down today, because, like, they switched to PG in the summer. I don't count that, but that was a pretty good year, too. Because we didn't get John Cena. Ty Wayne's, he got to wait a full year or 2008. He got to wait a year to go have a Ty Wayne. I say that. What makes 2011 good? Let's start the first story. The pipe bomb. The pipe bomb, it makes reality and scripted. Like, CM Punk did everything with the, with the pipe bomb. He did what the hell he wanted. He dropped. Was it a bully campaign? Could have. It could have brought the responses down. Just like Miles Leno going to do like a goddamn sword and like he got all the programs taken down. Everyone was freaking upset with this. Well, except for Dudley. Dudley was not mad for the freaking pipe bomb. Like CM Punk freaking mentioned New Japan for wrestling, Wing of Honor, even Coca Banner. Like, like one of those, like, come on. Like, and that was a huge, huge deal. He brought wrestling back. He brought wrestling back. To must see, to a dirty challenge win. But, like, 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 the Summer Punk kind of makes sense with, with Kevin Nash and Triple H. Like, who the hell is fighting about some damn text? Like, oh, hey, um, hey, Kevin Nash, can you, uh, uh, it's, it's uh, it's, uh, 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 uh it's Triple H. Can can you attack? Can you go and attack a uh, uh, CM Punk? The only reason the business man ever got the talent on the wheel is for the Mexican tour. That's it. And and I forgot I even had this. The negatives. The negative. You guys can see the negatives. Yeah, the negatives. There were a few negatives. Two thousand eleven. I gotta mention this one. Michael Cooper's jail lawsuit. Um, that was a negative because like, I, like, like people think like two commoners fighting. Like one, one, he doesn't wrestle. Two, he's a freaking legend. Jerry the King Law is a freaking legend. Why does no one remember he was a damn wrestler? He was like. The negatives is WrestleMania 2. It's just only one good match. That was part time. That was a part time one. Yes, part time was stole the show of WrestleMania. Try to chase us to the head, finding them. On the take up is Triple H. A good match. Two good matches at WrestleMania. Message with. And then the Royal Wumble, Brother by Deal winning was not a good choice. That was a few negatives. Oh, I even got this one. Yeah, we got one more match. One more match. And it was Christian Ethel at the 17 years won the champion. And I love the story. But many people criticized the WWE because, like, I wish that Christian, like, they're going to have, like, a better title win. More than two months or five days. Like, I'm fine with the five days. But, like, I wanted a khaki heel. I don't want a freaking heel who freaking moans and freaking, or freaking complains all the damn time. But, like, weeks. Uh, bitch. Honey. Uh, uh. Why did I do this? Why did I do that? Like, what the hell? Like, he lost it. Five days and a month, which is 33 days. Like, like, I'll be fun if this was the rest of the freaking year. Like, like, I know WWE fans criticize WWE Sellers for taking so long, repeat it, re rematches are freaking endless. But, like, this feud, mixing with the Pipe Bomb, mixing with the John Cena, Andy, like, these dude, these brought wrestling back. Dirty we were back in business with the CM Punk, the Christian and Randy Orton feud. And then we got Oh, right, talking about um one more match. 
We, I gotta mention the Mall Candy one. Dude, like, wow, what a gimmick. What a gimmick. The Hall of Pain of Full Moraine of the other championship. I mean, World Championship. Like, and a kick ass steam. Dude, like, dude, like, someone. And we got. Mixing with that at the end of 2011, we got Dan Blind's title win. Dan Blind's title win. At the battling stew, like, and that feud with the Big Show and the um and Mark Kennedy, that was decent. But like, World Championship at the at the at the winnings last for nine years. He's got one of the most shortest wins of all time. It was the Big Show, 45 seconds to Dan Blind catching it in, boom. World Championship, and I can't really get at this. Zach Weidel, a title push. His title push. Zach Weidel, like, I can't get at that one. Like, I can't believe that, that, that a goddamn YouTuber, a guy that was so hard, a guy that YouTube it up, or, or like a Facebook, or an Instagram, Snapchat, whatever, got, got, got over. That's amazing, to be honest. Yes, people at the beginning, like, yes. Yes, the reality show got someone over. People are. Oh, anybody got some gold book chance over here for freaking Y back? But. This push got someone over by social media, by Instagram, by YouTube. Yes. What the. He got a United States Championship thanks to social, to social media, to freaking Instagram, to freaking YouTube. Like, what is this? Is this, is, is this 2019? No, it's this 2011. He got a United States Championship win, and that was it. I was in a month. Because Dirty said, like, ah, oh, he's gone, he's gone. And then Dirty, Dirty fans were pissed off. So, that's my review of 2017. I mean, uh, two, 2011. Dude, that was a great year for Dirty. I'm going to be coming with more reviews for, like, for 2012. I, 2012, I mean, 2012 had some, a lot of negatives. Like, you remember John Lennon Nidus? Who? Yeah.